everyone, we shall now introduce the good thing from Japan to everyone. And today, we are at Meiji Jingu Shrine in Tokyo behind me. And I would like to introduce you the lucky shrine that we're going to take from Meiji Jingu to introduce to everyone. So, let's start. First one, Godama. This is a special item from Meiji Jingu. This is made from the tree and have only one in the world. Every E is made from different tree. Also, when we link it, it have different sound inside. This is really nice. This is have a bracing inside. It's a good for souvenir if you want to buy it for summer. Kodama is original charm of Meiji Jingu. So I recommend you, if you have a chance to go to Meiji Jingu, I recommend you purchase this one. This name of that is a good love. It's in Japanese, they call Omamuri. Oh, this is for protect you from the bad thing. Normally, this is normal item. Almost every shrine in Japan, you can get it. And easy to put in your pocket. I suppose. So, I wonder, this one protects only people, but also me? Oh, it's quite difficult. I want to eat rice ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lucky for study passing examination. And also, they have two choices. You can have pink. And you can have blue one at normal shrine. Every shrine you can have it. Put in your backpack and go to school. Please let me be smart and fluent in English. Next one, we will come with this lucky for couple. This sell as a couple. One is for your, one is for your girlfriend. You bring both of them. They say that it's gonna help you in your relationship going well. It's nice, isn't it? It's actually it's a kill for couple, for young couple. It's really nice. If I buy this, can I catch a girl I'm curious about? Lucky bag. Fukumori is name in Japanese. You're gonna have lucky. Maybe you can buy, buy this one and then go out to buy a lotto. Maybe you can get some. I think this one is yellow, so charm for money. But to tell the truth, it's a talisman to pray for happiness. Protect you from evil. You just put in your bag, your pocket, bring with you everywhere. Normally, the keeper do that to protect you from the bad things surrounding. Maybe you go different places. This one is to protect you from evil. Also, in Japanese culture, they believe that we have an unlucky age. Woman is around 35 and man is around 40. Normally, that age, everyone be careful. I think every country, each country, maybe number is different. So this one, that, that why they got this. This unlucky age is called Yakudoshi in Japan. And Yakudoshi seems to be a legend unique to Japan. So this is a talisman unique to Japan. How is it? Is our omamole? Do you want to have one? I really like it. It's so cute. It's a good for souvenir. If you like our channel, please give us a like and subscribe. If you have another recommend, please give us a comment below. See you. See you. Bye bye.